live and I'm happy to see that you've taken your stand against the devil's schemes uh, we are fighting a spiritual battle and I'm so pleased that you have taken this serious the same as I have uh, you're making a commitment and so have I and so uh, we're going to fight this battle together all around the world uh, we will win there is no other way around it we will win but before I start please um, just bear in mind that this is not my main channel this is my wife's channel um, originally created to do crafts and cooking and other things um, but I share my videos here as well so if you want to see purely ministry and see all my videos that I publish uh, the link to my YouTube channel will be in the description of this video so you click there it'll take you directly to my YouTube channel and then you can subscribe to see everything that I have because otherwise it's very difficult to find my YouTube channel actually searching it on YouTube because uh, my channel is shadow band unfortunately uh, they don't like uh, something about me I don't know what it is uh, I do know what it is but uh, let's just not talk about those things let's just uh, the, those are irrelevant things let's just talk about the real stuff the kings of the earth Psalm 2 2 says the kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed I know you are in Christ I know you're a child of God if you weren't you wouldn't be here you wouldn't be watching me you wouldn't be making a commitment to fight a battle against dark spiritual forces in the heavenly realms because the devil is not into dividing his own kingdom The scripture reads Ephesians 6 11 let me read it from the from the Bible finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power put on the full armor of God so that you may stand against the devil's schemes for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against rulers against the authorities listen to this against the rulers I know the rulers have been put in place by God but God knew them God knew them from their conception from before even they were born he knew them but he put them in place he gave them the authority to use for God but they are not using them for God they're using that position for their own evil plans their own agenda just as Jesus knew all his 12 disciples he picked them he chose them or he also knew Judas Judas Iscariot he knew him and he knew his plans but he still went ahead and picked him the same way God knows all the rulers he picks them but he knows their plans good or bad let me read on for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this world's darkness and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms take that to heart please you know don't be fooled make no mistake that the powers are against you if you're a child of God they're against you they're against your very Bible they're against every word of that Bible but they use nice words glossy green words happy words on the surface it all looks good inside is dead bones it's a graveyard but on the outside it all looks like uh, washed out to tombs make no mistake they are full of evil 
powers are shifting, things are happening in the world, the justice system, uh, particularly in America and I, I believe all around the world, uh, the, th the things that are happening in the justice system are amazing and in the end eventually the power belongs to the people we the people remember we the people will rule but we have to bring down their strongholds we go to this battle fully armed fully armed with the armor of God and our arm is the Word of God that is sharper than any double-edged sword the Word of God and the truth that is the Word of God I want everybody to think about their own country whatever is happening in their own country you know better than I can ever know you know what's happening in your country and I know it's a similar thing that's happening around the world I said about powers shifting and I said about some of the leaders world leaders will be brought down and it is happening it's happening in this country uh, it will happen if it hasn't happened in your country it will happen and you will see that and that was an, that was a few months ago that I said that and uh, remember this whatever MSM puts in front of you to see and um, take that with a pinch of salt to say the least because whatever or whoever they try to portray as good and godly just just think about it because usually if not always if not always usually it's the opposite if anybody or anything they pre pretend or pre present as good then it is probably most likely bad and if they're portraying or pretending bad it's most likely good however bear in mind that um, there is no good there is no good scripture is clear about that one Jesus says himself there is no good but we as people have to choose and decide that which one we want to have as our leader because at the end of the day it's best for us for people to have somebody who is thinking who is nationalist who is thinking about the people than somebody who is thinking about their own pyramid agenda you know at the end of the day they all have their own little pyramids maybe uh, they are thinking of their own empire their own personal having building up their own empire but some of them are into their own personal empire some are into the world worldwide empire and uh, we don't want those uh, ultimately we want Jesus of course but while we are under the rulings of these people we prefer somebody who is nationalist who think about your interests as well as probably their own of, of course their own first but they think about you too sometimes but somebody who just thinks about themselves we don't want them who just want all the power to themselves to the elite we don't want them and if you if you are careful about what they say how nicely they word things and they that they're clever at that they've been doing this for centuries the politicians they studied this they studied how to lie and if you are careful when you listen to them or when you read about what they say and what their agenda is it's always almost always against whatever a nationalist person would want if you are a nationalist you're against them you're against their agenda and they're against yours they're against your very being so let's pray 
Heavenly Father, we come before your throne to the Holy of Holies in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we ask you that you may wash us, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus Christ, forgive our sins and the sins of our fathers and our forefathers in the precious name of Jesus Christ by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit. Fill our nation with your Holy Spirit. Rise up, revive new Christians amongst the people, amongst our nations and in our governments. Let there be zealous, passionate, Christ-like Christians who are practicing their Christianity indeed in the government who will stand up against the evil agendas of evildoers and will expose the evil. Let the evil be exposed around the world. Let the evil of the evildoers in the governments of the world be exposed by themselves, by their own agents, by their own people, by their own colleagues, by their own secretaries, by their own bosses, managers, supervisors. Let them expose each other and let the people see and let it be all open in the open and in, in, in broad day and let them know this is a fact and let them know their evil agendas and let all their evil agendas not only be exposed but be thwarted and destroyed that all their schemes whatever it is um, from ranging from electric cars to um, abortion to whatever to gays lesbians and everything else that they have in their in their pot up in their sleeves destroy them destroy their plans and destroy their evil agendas and and let none of them be achieved none of them not even one Heavenly Father, keep and protect your people, your people who are in um, dangerous areas, living in dangerous areas, uh, living at risk, living in poverty. Protect them, feed them, meet their needs, bless them. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord, fill their cups overflowing. Let their cups be overflowing and bless them spiritually physically and financially bless them in town bless them in the city bless them in the village bless them going in bless them going out and yet destroy the schemes of evil we bind satan and all his schemes on earth as they're bound in heaven michael the archangel I ask you, you are the angel of the nations. I ask you that you may intervene. Destroy the evil, evildoers and evil plans of the evil rulers in every country and in every government of the world. Let people rise up. Let people rise up. Give them power. Give them boldness and encouragement let them rise up equip them with the right words give them wisdom and knowledge spiritual knowledge and yeah. earthly knowledge heavenly wisdom to know what's happening to know what's happening around the world and so their eyes are open to rise up and let the right people rise up to power and bring down the wrong evil doers wrong uh, people from the power let their whole um, schemes be exposed and be brought down and be brought to justice but let the godly rise up to power and bring in godly laws and scrap all the evil laws and rules and agendas of the evil We bind demons and evil 
and evildoers and their schemes and plans on earth as they're bound in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Father, rest and abide your Holy Spirit with our people, with everyone who is sat there uh, watching this video. Rest and abide your Holy Spirit with them. Give them boldness, encouragement and feed them, meet their needs supply them with whatever they need more than what they need in the precious name of jesus christ fill them afresh with your holy spirit set a hedge of protection around them with the blood of jesus christ let nothing come against them to harm them no weapon formed against us shall prosper indeed no weapon shall be ever formed against us in jesus name Heavenly Father, we are crying out to you to bring up godly governments around the world. Turn around these, um, the situation that we have in the world at the moment, turn it around for good. Turn all these evil to good and turn all our sins and mistakes into blessings we know we've sinned we know we've made mistakes we know we've wronged people and, and, and we know we've done wrong forgive us and wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ and we thank you that you're turning everything that we've done even the evil and even the wrong things that you've done we've done in the past we're forgiving, you're forgiving us and you're turning them around for good and turning them into blessings. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord of impossibilities. Turn these impossibilities to possibility. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Be with us and be with these people who are watching us at this moment and praying with us. Be with them and be with their families as we all have the promises of you the good promises you've given us you've given us the promise of our family as well save us and save our family protect us and protect our families in Jesus name and let the Holy Spirit rest and abide on each and every one who is watching this channel right now in Jesus name God bless you and I hope to see you again joining us in prayer from around the world. I wanted to let that video run for a, for at least another week or so before, before I actually make a commitment as to what day and what hour we want to do the, uh, the prayers. Uh, but uh, as far as time is concerned, we are pinched. Uh, to be honest to say the least by looking at what's happening around the world so we need to actually start and put aside all those things that all those irrelevant things if you like uh, so I'm, I'm starting this from today as you see and um, hopefully I'm planning to do uh, at least two times a week uh, going live It'll be about the same time as this um, and we take it from there we see we gauge things to see if people are struggling to join us or everybody's good with that then we either increase the days and uh, time or change the time we might change from uh, let's say Saturday to Tuesdays or we might change from Tuesday to what, Thursday and, and we might change the time from let's say 4 UK time to I don't know six UK time and, 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 and I just go by that then you can gauge your own time and uh, hours uh, depending on which country and which continent you're you're in thank you again for joining us I'm so pleased to see you and thank you again for your support and thank you 
uh, to those of you who sent me, showered me with your beautiful words and comments and encouraged me in the Lord and, and those of you who are supporting us in any way possible. Thank you uh, and I'll see you again soon. Till then, goodbye.